the gray man. Ooh. Good morning, folks, and welcome to Jag HQ, where today we're going to be talking about this thing here. Yes, this is a carpenter's pencil, folks. Now, don't ask me why. I, I, I don't know. You know, it's just one of these random things that comes into the world of Jag lives. And also, we'll talk about the tape measure as well. So these things are DIY uh, stalwarts, and I hate DIY, so I don't even know why I'm doing this. But start off with a, a carpenter's pencil. For example, why is it flat? Well, it fits behind the ear quite nicely for a start. There you go. Okay. And the other thing is, it doesn't roll. If it's flat, it won't roll, will it? So, you know, you're working on, on a windy conditions on a roof or something, that's going to just sit there like this. And also, the, uh, the, the pencil is made to specific requirements. For example, that there, quarter of an inch, and this way, half an inch. So it's a, it's a measuring sort of tool as well. You can use it as a spacer. It's quite handy for if you're outside doing decking. You can just space everything nice and easily with that quarter of an inch kind of thing because I think a lot of DIY things are made to quarter inches and half inches. And also the top of the pencil, you've got uh, different sort of ways you can carve the pencil with uh, just with a, with a standing knife. So you can carve it this way. So you've got a nice scribing tool. There, scribe means you can just make a mark on on something. So you can scribe that way. It's got a nice flat one on this way, so you can make a different sort of uh, mark. And it also, folks, that the sort of lead that's inside there writes on really difficult surfaces like brick and concrete, um, metal, and it writes on anything. So there you go. That is why a carpenter's pencil is so handy and uh, it's good. Basically, it's got four pencils and you've got the flat surfaces which are uh, laid out to certain measurements. Carpenter's pencil. Now you'll you'll all you'll all probably want one, so I've got loads to give away. So I think I've somehow got to give away some of these. I'm gonna maybe hide them around Dundee somewhere, folks. These special these pencils. But now okay. then, the tape measure, folks. The first thing you notice about the tape measure is when you pull it out, and you notice this this bit here. It kind of moves. It's got a couple of rivets on it there. So the reason why it uh, is like that is for when you're doing. There's two types of ways you can use this uh, a measuring tape. You can either hook it onto something and measure it that way, or you can push it onto like a, a skirting board or something, or a wall. So that is why that is there. So you, you don't wear and tear out the end bit. This bit actually sort of just moves a little bit and it protects the uh, the end of the of the uh, the tape. And it's also got a little, nice thing, it's got a little gap in it as well, folks. A little gap in it. Well, that is because um, you can hook it around a nail and hang it. Oops, a daisy. Uh, you can hang it or you can, you know, say a nail sticking out from the floor, you can put the tape measure on that and, and whick it out and uh, go. Anyway, this is a, this is a mini tape, uh, tape holder, a uh, tape, what do you call them? Tape. It's a, a Stanley Fat Max, it's a two meter one. And um, so seemingly it can, it can reach about three or four feet before it starts getting floppy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you can reach out and measure measure things from a distance, man. There you go, look at that. So there we go. Um, but I, I, I can't remember what else. There's other things about it as well, but um, so there we go. These are my, my DIY stalwarts, folks. My, my carpenter's pencil and my, and my measuring tape. Um, the, the other things I use as well when I'm doing DIY, if I have to do DIY, the only other thing that I do use is this, uh, this gadget here, man. It's called a ratchet gadget, and it's honestly it's the best tool. I can't, I can't remember. I got somebody gave it to me in the bingo as a free sample. It's got all these little sort of different tools. These what do you call them? They're like um, screwdriver bits or drill bits on them, and they are they've got like Phillips cross heads on them or just normal flat head screwdriver sort of things on them. Oh, so why wouldn't they come out? What's going on here? Houston, we have a problem. Oh, there we go, yeah. See, then they just pop out like this and you, you put it in the edge there and that's it. And it's got this incredible ratchet system. So a ratchet means you can screw it one way and it stays, you know, so you can really get a good, <laughs> a good screw motion on the go. So, uh, and it's got this control here so you can reverse it if you want to take a screw out. So this is the one that I always use, man. I find it an incredible, um, 
the screwdriver it really is it's nice and small and chunky and uh, very good and the other one I like as well this versatile screwdriver as well this one has got um, once, I think, once again I think it was the same guy gave me this one it's called the 8 in 1 screwdriver and it really has got um, different sort of blades on it it's got once again it's the Phillips one it's got a really it's got a really small micro micro screwdriver there like look at that it's great for uh, working on my guitar and things if you need to do anything and it's once again it's just a an incredible whoever thought of that incredible eight and one I think I've used the word incredible about 20 times so far today so um, there we go yep this is the one I use the most I think that just the Phillips normal screw head there um, so there we go folks that's the gadgets I use the most when I have to do DIY when I have to I hate doing DIY I hate 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 it hate it so um, the last thing I did was that um, was that chair the poang that I made up from from Ikea and that only took half an hour to do because it was so simple to do so I don't mind doing simple things like that if it's going to be nice and easy and you can be guaranteed it's going to be okay just when you have to make things up like you know cupboards and desks and all sorts of things man you're a nightmare anyway let's go and go to work but the thing is folks normally i'm off on a wednesday night but i'm not off tonight because I'm, I'm working extra for a guy and i'll be off next week but anyway that's beside the point okay let's go right folks i'm at work and guess what guess what i found my microphone yes it was down the back of the uh the seat in the car the passenger seat for some reason must have fallen in my pocket so the microphone has returned now it's not a particularly good microphone it was only 2.99 or something from a place in uh in, on ebay it came from china so um works fine though man you know the, the bro has had increasingly difficult problems with his 50 pound mic he bought for his uh, his phone and he's having no no joy with it at all folks it just goes to show that even though that's just two pound 99 it works perfectly well as compared to bro's apple gadget that, is, that has been ripped off with probably costs exactly the same to make as this one here and uh and there you go folks so we have found the microphone right folks we have arrived at the green pyramid of consumerism here it is and we're going in let's see what they've got it's going to be very plain and boring shoes i'm not going to spend any more than 20 quid man 20 quid is the maximum that's what we get Right, folks, well, as usual, went in to get something and uh, didn't get it. Shoes were just rubbish, didn't like them at all, man. So, and they were £22 as well. They were just too thin and narrow for my feet. However, I did find these for a pound. Can you believe it, folks? A pound each. So, I've got these for my, uh, my, my grandson. Also, found this Black Panther toy. He was only a pound as well. So, he's like one of these jelly stretch things. So we'll give them a wash when we get in, and uh, I think I might hang them from my car, actually, sort of hang them from the... You know, sort of like that, sort of just like that, folks, look. See him hanging there, look, dun da da The Avengers, which one is he? The Black Panther. dun da da oh, I'm getting stretched, oh, help me, oh, oh. So, there we go. Uh, right, okay, let's get back into the adult world now and uh, do something sensible. I'm Siren. The Therizinosaurus. Uh, that's hard to say. Is it? Okay. What does it want to do? I'll use my big claws to scratch my back. Ouch! That hurts. <laughs> and this okay. one. I'm what? Slam! The Stegosaurus! What's Watch that? out when I swing my tail! It's a good day to be a Stegosaurus! <laughs> Excellent. Do, 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 do. Right. 
What is this? What is it? Okay, folks, this is what you do with this. This is the cup we got from Ikea. It's got coffee in it. Um, and it is a strange looking shape. It's got a, a lip on the top. That's where the coffee comes out of just, just there. It's got a hole there as well. So what's it all about? <clears throat> well, this is what I've come up with, folks. I, I know it keeps your coffee nice and uh, warm. But I think what it's for, why it's this strange shape, is that it fits nicely into a cup. Look at that. A superb fit. And there you have a... Uh, Cup. It's, it's, it's a bit awkward, but it's a. Uh, at least it's a, a coffee cup sort of thing with a, with a handle. I, I don't know if it, is it supposed to do that. I don't know, man. It seems to fit in a cup. Well, it fits into the Jack Lives mug really well. I'm not too sure if, if that is what it was designed for, um, or whether it's just a, a hole. But um, yeah, it's a, I'd, I'd rather just hold it to tell you the truth. But why has it got that hole in it? As soon as you put your finger on the hole, uh, nothing nothing comes out. It's weird. Look. Well, I mean, it does a wee bit. Hang on. 